Let's go. Don't be late. Good morning. Hey. Bob. And it's the breakfast table. Thank you. So you find anything good in there? Talk to you, leave a clamp behind? <laughs> uh, always on that phone, huh? Damon can't wait to talk to you until you get to school. Who's Damon? Well, I'd love to know. Come on, Apple. Dad, I'm not a four-year-old. You can't call me that anymore. Sorry, kiddo. Damon is actually my ratchet. Mm. See you later, Daddy-o. Kiss on the cheek, at least. Next time. Thank you. Don't forget about dinner. We're having people over. And wear your seatbelts. You think this Damon character might come inside and introduce himself at some point? She's still our little girl, right? Mm, it's not April's fault. She's invited him in on several occasions. Not surprising. John, what the hell is going on? Erica, you know you shouldn't be here. Who let you in? I will not be destroyed. You owe me. It's not my case. I don't control anything about it. Shut it down. What do you mean, shut it down? Do you need a dictionary? This isn't a switch we can just turn on and off. No, it's a lightning rod. Lower your voice. No, I'm not. You're going to get hit just as badly as I am. God, you do not understand the consequences. I do understand. Damn it, Erica, I understand. Mm, hey. Hi. Hey. Ooh, you know I hate photos of myself. And you know I hate confronting two old people about kissing some dangerous looking stranger. Ah, uh, who do you think's gonna hate my tattoos more? Kathy or David? Stalker, how do you know my parents' names? Hey, it's not stalking if you post it for the world to see. God, I should never let you go through my phone. My dad is so embarrassing. And don't call me Apple. Come on, it's cute. I can't wait to meet him. Yeah, well, we'll see. Let's get out of here. All right. I just don't trust the kid who wears a beanie in 85 degree weather. Right? John, what is it? Hey, David, I'm glad I called you. Immediately, you are a coronary attack. Hey, babe, uh, don't forget, it's your day to pick up April from La Crosse at 4, OK? Anyway, I really need to see the files. I know it's your day off, but are you planning on coming by the office today? Uh, no, I wasn't planning on coming to the office today. I was hoping to review it. Keys. Together in case something fake comes uh, out of me that we might be overlooking. Hmm. Devil's Hello? Details, you know? Yeah, sure. Can you just hold on a minute? Okay. I mind John about dinner. I will. Okay. Mm. I'm really going now. I love you. Don't forget April. There's another call coming in. Uh, what? Another call. Uh, sure. Yeah, call me back. Okay, bye. He's not coming in today. Look, I don't know where the files are, and I don't know where David keeps them. And we've been through his desk and every cabinet in this office, but nothing. He must have taken him home with him. Better hope so, John. March 25th, continuing work on the Gallagher file. These show explicit communiques from CEO Erica Hearns legit. We're looking at rampant corruption and a conspiracy to destroy evidence. Leave me a message. Hey, Mike, are you back from Dubai? I have a few questions as I'm completing these files. We're close. Let me know when you're available to talk. Thanks. Can we talk? John, I have a front door. Any more sections? Here, right here. Clamp. Pull that back. Hey, bud, you alone? Yeah. What? What's wrong? I need to discuss Erica Hearns. I'm telling you, keep clear from that woman. I spent last night with her. Okay. You are your own worst enemy. I had to do something. The situation is out of control. You need to take the Gallagher file and burn it and just be done with it. If I walk away now, they'll call it obstruction of justice and I'll go to jail. Better jail than dead. More section. Clear. God, God. 
that a threat? Not from me, David. Her company is worth billions, all right? And she's gonna protect it. What did she tell you exactly? You need to burn the file, drop the case, and she'll get you a lot of money and leave you and your family alone. She said that. She said enough. She mentioned my family. In so many- He's coming after us. All of us. So we'll go to the FBI. She's not messing around, David. Neither am I. How quickly can you finish? I can have the files in front of the judge first thing Monday morning. Get a warrant then and there. And what if she doesn't wait that long? Plan B. Which is what? I haven't figured that out yet. <sighs> we'll figure it out. How's the blood pressure? Blood pressure is 117 over 81 and stable. All right, good. Two more sutures. Monitor the blood flow for 10 minutes. If the graph holds, Michelle, you close them up. Yes, Dr. Mayer. Looks good, team. Just drop the case, John. It can't happen. What the hell is she doing here, John? We're suing her. This compromises us. Nice to see you too, David. She came over unannounced. So you don't bring her into this office without her lawyer, period. You're already going through disbarment proceedings because of her. This is only going to make it worse. David, may I have a word? Miss Hearns, we have nothing to discuss. How do we make this thing go away? The only place this thing is going is to the feds. David, just drop the case. Give your daughter a college fund. Let's do this the easy way. You know, I don't really feel like getting disbarred like my partner here. He's not getting disbarred. He's gonna get a little slap on the wrist. He violated more than a I have bigger friends. He'll get a warning, but only if you make this go away. Erica, you are manipulative and dangerous. David, think about this. It's probably better for everyone. Oh, John, come on, don't do this again. You should... You don't stop. Really? Get her the hell out of this office before I call the bar and add to their list of evidence. <sighs> Eric Hearns, you were going to jail for a very long time. Barbecue is gonna have to move inside. I know. I'm trying to sneak out of here early though, so we need you back right away. Sorry. <sighs> okay. I have to call you back. I love you. Bye. Holding. Any more sections? He's not responding. He... We're losing him. All right, people, focus. We're not losing anyone. Not today. mean to you lately. I love you. Kent Dr. K was my favorite med school professor. Well, you were my best surgical student, Kathy, and you showed it today. She's right, Kathy. You saved his life. Oh, come on. No, we were all in the room. It was a team effort. So, are you coming to our barbecue tonight? David's counting on it. Of course. I'm on call, but I'll be there. 
Miss Smyre. Yes. Hi. I'm Detective Jansen of the Los Angeles Police Department. This is Officer Cahill. What can I do for you? Your husband is David Meyer, is that correct? Yes. Miss Meyer, is there a place where, where we can go and talk privately? No, this is Michelle. She's my best friend. She can hear what, what's going on. Mrs. Meyer. D can you just tell me, did something happen to David? Mrs. Meyer, we responded to a call of shots fired at your home this afternoon. I'm very, very sorry, ma'am, but your husband was found dead. That, I mean, that's not possible. I'm on my way home to a dinner party right now. I'm very, very sorry, ma'am. Uh, <sighs> no. No, no, no. Mrs. I... Spire, is there a place where maybe you'd like to go and process uh, just, all this? Just give her a minute, would you? Yes, of course. But you said self-inflicted. Yes. There was a note, apparently. It was a suicide. What? Oh, my God. <gasps> no, what about April? You, was my daughter at the house when this happened? There was no one there when officers arrived. Currently, we have personnel on site that are conducting an investigation and processing the scene. If you'd like, you can ride with us. I'll just drive her home. I'll be there shortly. <gasps> Of course. Cassie, tell me, what do you need? I don't know. I don't know. Um, just do me a favor. Just go find April. She's stuck at school. No problem. I'll, I'll do that. But you, you can't drive. No, I'll, I'll be fine. Just, just please find April. <laughs> hey. April, I'm sorry. Yeah, Dad never showed, and my backup plan was Damon, who also ditched me. Probably for some other girl, so... Uh, baby, Daddy's not gonna be able to come get you. And I got stuck at the hospital, so uh, Michelle's gonna come pick you up, okay? What do you mean? Why can't Dad come get me? Doing okay, yeah. I'll just, I'll explain everything when I see you. I love you. Okay, love you too. John. Hey, Kathy. Just want, I wanted to check in. Can't get a hold of David. Is everything still on for tonight? John, can you just come over to the house, please? We need you. Sure. Is everything all right? <sighs> it's David. What about David? He's gone. What do you mean, gone? He's gone. David's gone. Oh, oh my God, Kathy. I... Can you just come over to the house, please? We will tell you everything then. Um, I can't talk right now, okay? Make sure you get David to come around. Otherwise, things could get bad very quickly. I'll work on it. That's not good enough. You need to do this today, because tomorrow could become a very rough day for David Meyer.
are you doing? I deal with life and death every day, but this, uh, I don't know what this is. I understand. Can I have a minute along with my husband? Of course. Gentlemen. Let's just give her a minute. Okay. I just want to hear your voice one last time. But I can't. I have to stay strong for our daughter. You wouldn't do this. Who did this to you? I want to see this suicide note. I can't show it to you until the FBI has fully examined all the evidence. The FBI? Why is the FBI here? It's their scene. It seems your husband was working on a brief for them. What are you saying? That it could have been a murder? No, it doesn't appear that way. Was your husband uh, depressed? Was he taking any medications, anything like that? I don't know. I don't know that I know of. Is that where it happened? Yeah. I don't believe this. Ma'am, are you okay? So what you're saying, I got on that back patio and took his life. Tearing apart the family that he loves. No, I, just, I don't believe it. I know this is hard. It's always hard to accept. I know it's impossible to accept. What makes you believe this is a homicide? Because I know my husband, I, I knew him, and he would not have killed him. I understand your grief, I really do. But none of the evidence here leads to homicide. We've seen this so many times. Single shot from his gun, pills, alcohol. Alcohol? Yes. Your husband did have a history of alcoholism, did he not? Okay. I know how this might look. I'm... It just doesn't make any sense. And, and yeah, I might, might be in shock because my husband's... <sighs> we were married for 19 years. Yes. God, can I can I just see the note, please? I will get it to you as soon as I can. Okay. Give all this some time. I need to go be with my daughter. Thank you. I'm sorry. Of course. Cassie, how could we have missed this? We're doctors. We should have seen this to himself. Kathy. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about David and about everything. I can't believe this. I know. Come on in. John. Hello, John. Michelle. So, Kathy, what do you mean that David didn't do this to himself? I know David. Nothing can convince me that he did this to himself. And there's nothing showing anything to the contrary. Not yet. He was drunk. I can't 
believe it. What? I've been so terrible to him. He probably thinks I hated him. No, 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 no. Stop that. Listen to me. <laughs> he knew how much you loved him. You were everything to him. Apple, I hope you don't really feel that way. Daddy loved you more than anything in the whole world. Oh, damn. I'm so sorry, Cass. I'm on call. It's your day to pick up April from lacrosse at four. What? I mind John that I fear. I will. Mm. I'm really going now. I love you. Don't forget April. Honey, you okay? Sure. You sleeping here tonight? Yes, of course. Get in. Come here. Mom? Hmm? Why do you and Michelle use sign language? It's just a friend thing we started in college, I guess. You guys always seem to do it when you're upset. Yeah, we do use it to express strong emotions. Unless we're far away from each other, and then it's better than yelling. <laughs> Would you teach me? I'd love to teach you. Good night. Good night, Mommy. Love you. Is uh, everything okay in there? What happened today? You all right? I'm uh, sorry about earlier. I got the tension. I don't know how that goes. Just give me a call back when you can. How many times have I asked you not to look at MRI scans at the dinner table? It's my job, and it's the breakfast table. Thank Hello? you. Hello, Mrs. Meyer. It's Detective Jensen. Good morning. Detective, hi. Hi. Come in, have a seat. I brought you some of David's personal items. And here is a copy of the toxicology report that you requested. 16 milligrams of diazepam. Blood alcohol, 0. 0.20. Well, forensics shows no sign of a struggle. And the angle of the gunshot wound is consistent with one that was self-inflicted. I don't care. I don't believe it. Our conclusions still stand. We see no reason to rule this as anything other than a suicide. What about his briefcase? His black briefcase, he carried that thing around like it was an extra appendage. He would have not left that at the office. There was no black briefcase. Also, I have this. My dearest Kathy. No doubt you are upset with the way this looks. From the moment I met you, you've always held the little key to my many affairs that I couldn't keep straight. There was another woman that held my secrets, the only other woman in my life. I couldn't face you with this truth. You still need to be there to work your magic, to save lives, to lead our daughter with your fine example. Read her the Velveteen Rabbit, and don't give up faith. Please tell April that I will never forget all the times we spent on the swing and planting flowers in her beautiful flower box. Now it's time for my beautiful women to be the heroes of their own stories. I love you more than life itself. 
David. The Velveteen Rabbit. Your dad read it to me once, after I lost a patient to comfort me. A key? He mentioned a key. He's trying to tell us something. He sure is. But what does it unlock? He wouldn't have left it if it wasn't important. The key to his heart. Or maybe it's to the real story. No cute pics today, Apple? Not in the mood. Don't ever call me that. Ever. And may she still hear my voice in the breeze and remember me fondly. Oh, man. Technology. Excuse me, I'm a heart surgeon. I'm supposed to take things apart and put them back together again. Yeah, living things. March 25th, Gallagher file from CEO Eric. Rampant corruption. Who the hell are you? Piss off the wrong people. Makes this it's messed up from the dirt and water. Yeah, but there's something there. Okay, look, here's the deal. No texting, no tweeting, no talking about your dad to anybody, you understand? Mom, what am I supposed to say? Hey, it's me. My dad killed himself because he was having an affair. Now my mom's looking for an imaginary killer. Sad emoji. April. Mom, I'm sorry, but we have no idea. He could have been having like a secret life or something. No, no, there were no secrets. Your dad was not having an affair. We don't know. We don't know anything. Look, I know this hurts, baby. I get it. Note. You mean this? Supposed suicide note? Yeah, this may be his writing, but the wording is strange. It doesn't exactly say he was having an affair. I mean, listen to how it reads. I have too many affairs. Like he wasn't having an affair. I think it was something different. I mean, what other woman in your dad's life handled his affairs? Oh my God, Jess at the office. Dr. Meyer. Hi, Jess. I'm so sorry. David was an amazing man. We're all really heartbroken for you. Thank you. We just wanted to stop by and check out David's office. Ladies. Yeah. Hi. I didn't expect to see you here. Hi, John. Uh, we just wanted to check out David's office. Yeah, please, right through here. We know the way. Yes, of course, sure, sorry. I'm, I'm still just shaken up over all this. Anybody want any coffee while they? We're fine, John. I think we just need to be left alone. By all means. Kathy, I swear to God. Ugh. I know, just play nice until we get through this. I'm so sorry I ever set you guys up. Yeah. Well, c'est la vie. Michelle, I didn't know you dated John. More of a nightmare than a date. <laughs> what? Nothing. Keep looking. What exactly are we looking for? Your dad's briefcase? Or anything out of the ordinary? His desk looks normal. Uh, nothing here. So what's next? Let's see. Affairs. Meetings. Maybe it's in the missing briefcase? Maybe. He said he had too many affairs to keep straight. If Jess keeps his affairs in order. That's right, I'm so glad you asked. I almost forgot. Thank you. Uh, Kathy, 
I, I don't know if this is important, but the day it happened, David came into the office only for about 10 minutes. Is that all? Well, he never lets me see his address book. He's very protective about his client's information. He just always does it himself. But the morning that it happened, he came by and... Jess, I need you to hold this for me. Don't give it to anyone except me or Kathy. Uh, sure, Mr. Meyer. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's just in case. In case of what? Probably nothing. Okay. Just in case. Those were his exact words. Yes, his exact words. Okay, um, why don't we just keep this between us, okay? Yes, ma'am. I, I understand. If you think of anything else, call me, or if anything weird happens around here, okay? I will. Thanks, Jess. You know, I knew David was busy, but this is insane. Anything stand out? Yeah, a few things here and there. April's choir concert on the 15th. My honorary award ceremony. It says unannounced, and he has it circled. Unannounced? What does it mean? I don't know. The day before David died? Yeah, it looks like the last appointment before it happened. Hey, Apple. Can you do a search on an Erica Hearns? Mm -hmm. H-E-A-R-N-S. There's actually a lot of hits. Here's one that's local. Miss Erica Hearns, president of Chartoff Bank. Sounds fancy. Is there an address? 19938 Sunset. You can find all this in your phone that easily? Yeah, Michelle, welcome to the 21st century. Okay, very funny. Here we go. All right. What? Damon! Hi! Come on! Damon, this is my mom, Kathy, who you've clearly already heard of. Yeah. Miss Myers, I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Damon. And this is basically like my second mom, Michelle. So this is a mystery man. <laughs> Hello, Damon. Hi. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, um, my uh, my aunt works here. Oh, really? What does she do? I don't know. She's just in the back pushing papers all day. <laughs> Shoot me if I have to do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, this place is huge. Yeah. <laughs> um, we were just coming by to check and see it. About opening a new account for April. Don't you think it's about time she handled her own finances, Damon? Yeah, totally. Of course. Um, well, I, I gotta run. I'll stop texting you later, Ape. It's nice to meet you, ladies. Nice meeting you. Mom, did you have to be so weird? I don't like the smell of that guy. And I mean that, literally. I know. I told him to stop smoking. You're not smoking, are you? Well, I'm just asking. Hi. I'm Dr. Meyer. I don't have an appointment or anything, but is it possible to get a quick word with Miss Hearns? Oh, I'm sorry. Miss Hearns is booked for the next few weeks. I'm so sorry. Listen. My husband was murdered last week, and Miss Hearns had an appointment with him the day before it happened. So pick up the phone and dial Keaton. Hi, Miss Hearns. Uh, yes, Keaton, front desk. Yes? I have Dr. Kathy Meyer here at reception. She's wondering if you might have a minute to speak with her. Listen closely, Keaton. If you still want to be employed by the end of the day, you will get Dr. Meyer out of my bank. Do you understand? Uh, yes, I, yes, I understand. I'm afraid she's out to lunch. Would you like to leave a name and number or? Get that to her? Or... Ed. Call Ed Rock. 
Erica. We need to talk. Kathy, it's Mike. I just returned from Dubai, and I heard about David. I am so sorry. Will you call me when you get this, please? I need to talk to you. What the hell? That sucks. Interesting choice, Erica. Meeting on the roof now. You must be getting nervous since you don't want me seen in your bank. Why would I? Especially now that the Meyer family is visiting here? What do they know? You tell me, Ed. What really happened at David Meyer's house? Look, Erica, I did exactly what you paid me to do. You need to burn the Gallagher file and just be done with it. John, the only thing keeping any of us alive are those files. She's not messing around, David. Neither am I. What's the matter, John? You're not looking so good. David has the files, but he won't turn them over. I'm sorry. Okay. You should go home now, John. I found nothing that could help us. So I waited for David to come home. Nice collection. Your books. I like your collection. Who the hell are you? I'll say this for you. You definitely know how to piss off the wrong people. Sit. He must have really hated you. Even with a gun to his head, he wouldn't give me the files. Have a drink. I'm 16 years sober. I know. Today's the day you fall off the wagon. Drink. I like you mean it. Can we just skip to the part where you ask me about the Gallagher file? Where's the Gallagher file? Not here. No kidding, I've been all through here. Found your gun, though. Thanks for that. Makes this easier? Makes what easier? You hit the file, right? Want to save me some time? Tell me where? Not particularly. All these books. Bet you're a good writer. I write legal briefs. No fiction? Just legal briefs. Look, you've done your whole scare tactic thing, all right? I'm scared. Scare tactic? You know, go to Erica and tell her message received. Right. Here's the thing. Message received mattered yesterday, because yesterday I hadn't been called yet. When I get called, we're past care tactics. Who are you? Insurance. Start writing. She'll never buy it. Who? Kathy? April? If you hurt them? Relax, David. Whether or not I go after your family, it's entirely up to how cooperative you are here. You screwed up. The next time somebody hires you to make a hit, make sure that there's not an audio recording device. What? David Meyer? That's right, Ed. While you were busy congratulating yourself for finding David's hidden gun, you missed the damn audio recorder sitting on his desk in broad daylight. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel so good. At some point, he was able to hide it in the flower box because, according to Damon, the daughter found it. Mom! And if you don't get it back, Kathy and April Meyer will need to be dealt with. What's on the tape? Nothing yet. 
Apparently, the recorder is not working. April is trying to fix it. <laughs> You're kidding. Put us on death row. Don't worry, Erica. David Myers outthought you. You had a gun to his head. And he was able to record the entire thing. You are such an idiot. Now find a way into that house and get that recorder before Kathy and April discover the truth. I'll take care of all this. You keep saying that. Just find the damn files and the recorder. You've got two days, Ed. Two days. You've reached the voicemail of attorney John Rudson. Please leave a detailed message after the tone. John, I need you to deal with Kathy and get those files. I also need you to find a recording that she has. If you don't, I'll handle it myself, which means things will get messy. Hey, April. Can you look with that recording? Not yet. Mom's been working on it. I want to see you. I'm almost to your house. You're crazy. Give me 15 minutes. Hey, John. What's up? Hey, Kathy. I was just wondering if you wanted me to come by and stay the night on the couch. I know things have been pretty difficult for you. Oh, that's really nice of you, but I think that April and I just need some us time. Yeah, I understand. But if you need anything, I'm always here for you. Okay, thank you. Hey, one more thing? Sure. Uh, I'm looking for these files on a files home with them. I don't I don't even know what is at the house right now. I'm, my head is still reeling. Right, right, of course. I'm sorry to bother you with this. The clients always need everything now, if you know what I mean. Yeah, the world keeps spinning, I guess. A little faster than I'd like. I'll, I'll take a look around, but no promises, okay? Okay, thanks. Good night. Good night, John. Oh, hi, honey. Hi, Mom. Do you want to sleep in my bed again tonight? No, thanks. I'm just going to finish up some homework and then go to bed. OK, yeah, I've, I've got to call Mike back anyway. See you in the morning. Love you. OK, we're good. Come to the front. Coast is clear. Kathy, my God, how are you? I'm, I'm doing as good as I can, I guess. <clears throat> it's good to talk to you, Mike. I still can't believe it. This is horrible. It still hasn't sunk in. Is there anything that you and April need? No, no. Thanks, Mike. Now listen, Damon. I need you to find that recording in those files any way you can for me. Because if you can't, Ed will. And that's not... Take this. It's just diazepam. It's just a little sleeping pill. It's fast acting and it'll give you a chance to look for those recordings in the files. Use it! No, no way I'm gonna drug anyone, all right? This is not a game, Damon! Now, if you want to continue to live this comfortable life, then you need to do this for me. Good. Text me when you're done. Come back and pick you up. Kathy, I, I need to come and see you. Is it okay if I come over in the morning? Yeah, sure. Is everything okay? I don't think I'll ever believe it. Neither will my mom. Yeah. It's gotta be hard. Hey. 
Yeah, that's really from crying, babe. With some water. Here. Here. Some water. I'm not going anywhere. Have you noticed anything altered or anything missing from the house? No, no, not that I know of. Should I be worried? When I got back from the airport today, my house had been ransacked. What? Uh, nothing was stolen, but the intruders liked my filing cabinets more than they liked my Rolexes. Do you think this has anything to do with David? Maybe. He was working on a big case for my company. It was against a group of powerful bankers. I mean, we're talking dirty money, bad loans. David told me that he'd gathered enough evidence so that the FBI could bring them down. Kathy, you and April need to be very careful. Nothing, it's just sleeping pills. What kind? What exactly did you give her? Diazepam. How much? Um, five milligrams. I mean, she didn't feel the whole thing. What are you doing here? It wasn't my choice. I just... This is the, the recording. Um, I wasn't going to... We're going... Going to what? Kill me? Kill April? Who killed David? Oh, I didn't. No, I don't. I don't. Who killed my husband? 
Damon, give me a name! Uh, so that... Ed! Ed! Ed who? Uh, Ed... Uh, you're... Mom? Uh, April, just go back to your room. Damon! Shh, 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 come on, come on. myself but i have to fill out a police report you shouldn't be driving anyway it's been a rough night for both of you hey april mm, hi uncle mike it'll be okay okay so just take her to er michelle's on duty so she'll watch her till i get there all right i'll get her there hey mom i'm really sorry yeah come on april i got you Hold on. Watch your step. Good night, folks. So what do you think this is all about? I don't know. I, I thought he was a burglar. He came into my room. Have any idea what he was looking for? No idea. No, but before he passed out, he said the name Ed and Earring. Earring? Yeah. I, strange, right? Sue, our press charges? I should teach a little punk some decency. <laughs> All right. I'll run some tests on the water, and when we'll Lover Boy's finished at the hospital, I'll bring him in for some questioning. Thank you. Sure thing. Hey. By a thread. Bounce. See you later, Daddy O. Kiss on the cheek at least. Next time. Thank you. Good morning. Oh, I'm sorry, did I wake you? No, I was up. I gotta switch to a day schedule for the next few weeks. I made some coffee. Poor thing. You probably only got a little sleep. Nothing new. Thanks for staying last night. Of course. How's April doing? Mm. Oh, she was sleeping when I left her. Yeah, I get to pick her up in an hour, though. She's so upset about Damon. What a creep. Yeah. That's Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey. Thanks for coming. Uh, oh. Thanks again for your help last night. Glad I was here. How's April? She's doing OK. Good. Hey, Mike. Hey, Michelle. Look, I was up all night last night. Just racking my brain, and with everything that's going on, I'm just hoping we could put our heads together on this. Yes, the police are moving so slowly. They still think this could be a suicide, so we would love your help. Gallagher file. Looks like Mike came through. Did you have a meeting scheduled with David? Yeah, like I mentioned before, I mean, he was working on that case for my company. So we met often. The locker room was like our second office. Why? Locker room. David left me a key. A key to his locker? We have no idea. Have it with mine. They match. That's his locker key. His locker's right next to mine. Can you get us in there? Yeah. Hey, Dan. Hey. Can you give us a couple minutes. Everything about this case. It's 
bad news, Kathy. I never should have asked David for his help. Oh, it's done, it's done. There's some very corrupt people involved in this. I mean, this whole thing was referred to the Attorney General for prosecution. And David did the work to uncover their crimes? Yeah. He put a complicated financial and legal puzzle together. I think they killed him for it. And now they're after you. It seems that way. David, please forgive me. This is all my fault. Hi, Mr. Hudson. Is okay. Yeah, you have a call on nine one. How you doing, John? I'm here, aren't I? You don't sound so good. I'm fine. You do know we need those files and that audio recording yesterday, right? What can you tell me? I don't have them. I think we're going to need to have a conversation about your future. Do you understand what I'm saying? You about to see you tonight. Kathy, I need to talk to you. But I've got to run home really quick, so I'll meet you at the hospital. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Sure. Yes. They're on the move. I think Kathy may have the files. Where are they headed? My guess is they're going to see April at the hospital. Okay, I'm on my way now. I'll meet you there soon. I have to clean up one more loose end. No more witnesses, Ed. Got it? Yeah, got it. Answers. I thought you were real. I thought you were one of the good guys. He is a good guy, April. Sorry, I was just leaving. Wait. Do I know you? Miss Erica Hearns, president of Chardoff Bank. Would your father approve if he saw you here with Damon? So Damon worked for you the whole time? It's just a job. That's right. He wasn't in love with you. He was just doing his job. What job? You mean my dad? That's a smart girl. See, I knew you would figure it out. Unfortunately, you and your mother hurt my Damon. He's all I have. I get very angry when somebody hurts my nephew. You will make keep your mouth shut, do you? Come on, you're gonna take a little walk? Maybe call mommy, huh? I don't wanna go for a walk. I'm not asking. Mrs. Myers. So what have you found, Detective? Turns out John Rutz is about to be disbarred for interfering in a Department of Justice investigation. I had heard, yes. Now, this person's name might sound familiar. Miss Erica Hearn, CEO of Chartoff Bank. The one in David's appointment book. 
Exactly. Also turns out that Miss Hearns and John Rudson were doing a little bit more than just exchanging information. They were having an affair. What? That's when I was dating John. That's who he was having an affair with. Yeah, didn't he blame it on some business trip or something? He sure did, that liar. So, Kathy, I gotta ask. Do you think that John could have killed David? No, I mean, they were best friends in college, then partners. John has his issues, but no, no way. I see. Well, I also ran a background check on David Tyler. His parents were killed when he was 10 years old. He's been living here for six months with his only surviving relative, Miss Erica Hearns. What the hell? Wait, so my daughter is dating the nephew of the CEO my husband was building a case against. Exactly. <sighs> yeah. Miss Meyer? You should be in your room. Pick her up. This way. Where are you taking me? Shut your mouth, behave, and you'll be just fine. Oh. I'll never get away with this. <laughs> it's not like I haven't heard that one before. Her aunt checked her out? That's who she said she was. And April didn't say anything. She doesn't have an aunt. So, I need you to call the police right away. I'm gonna call Mike. He dropped her off. Maybe he knows something. And, and we need a guard outside of Damon Tyler's room. I need to know when he wakes up and who sees him. Uh, yes, Dr. Lindstrom. You're doing great. Just keep up the good work and nobody gets hurt. What are you doing? She's insurance. No, she's a liability. Just go do your job. I've got this taken care of. There's only two ways a kidnapping goes, and I don't see them paying you ransom. You're the one that got us into this mess in the first place. You now I've got to get us out. Just stick to the plan. I'm trying Mike again. Maybe he's heard from April. Answering. I'm gonna call a detective. Oh, wait, here. He's texting me. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. Send that to Jansen. Oh, my God. Mike. Family emergency. That's all right. Perfect timing, actually. I'm sorry? Look, why don't we just exchange IDs and insurance and be on our way? I never carry them. They make my job more difficult. I just ran into your car, Mr. Ed Brock. Ed. Who killed David? Uh, Ed. Oh, that's not Yuri. Seems like you don't care if I pay for damages, so, uh, just be on my way. Oh, on the contrary, you will definitely pay for the damage. All of it. Where is April? It depends. Do you have the files in the report? You better hope she's not harmed. Or what? You know I'm not some idiot kid like Damon. You cooperate. We never see April again. I don't mean that we're gonna kill her, although you might wish we had. You've taken all you're gonna take. Fine, officer. Do you need me to call the police? Oh. What do you think, Kathy? Do we want to involve the police? Sounds like that might make problems worse. Mm. No, no, we're fine. Got it all worked out. I'll call 
call you for the winning aware of the exchange. Understood? Yeah. Kathy. No cops. You never see it though again. What just happened out there? That was no accident. I don't understand. Michelle, that was Ed Brock. He has April, and I'm guessing he killed David. What? Oh, my God. Call Jansen. Can you believe this? I gotta take this call off the dispatcher. Kathy! Where did you get that picture of Mike Gallagher? Oh, God, Mike. That was coming from Mike's phone. Someone texted it to us. Okay, I've already sent Eunice to his house. Do you have any idea who could have done this? It has something to do with a guy named Ed Brock. Detective, he has April. He's not working alone. I think he and Eric are somehow connected. Okay, tell me what you know. We went to the hospital, and April had been checked out by some woman posing as her aunt. Okay, I'll put an Amber Alert out for April. Ed Brock is probably our help. He said if I go to the police, I'll never see her again. They want the briefcase in exchange for April. Do not do anything on your own. So now you believe us. If I don't do this on my own, my daughter dies. Kathy, I need you to be careful. This is a dangerous situation. We will help you. Okay, I hear you. Okay. David's office is calling on the other line. We'll call you back. Kathy! Kathy! Damn it. Hello? It's Meyer. It, it's Jess. No, no, I think Mr. Retta needs help. Me up. He's been drinking all day. Something's seriously wrong. No, no, there has to be another way. You can't make me do that. The time has come and gone for negotiations, John. It's by my rules now. Ed Brock will come and pick you up at your office in five minutes. You will then guide Ed and Damon to your house where I will meet you there with April. You better make sure that Kathy does everything that I ask in this exchange, or so help me, John. Some of you won't survive this. No, no, I'm not some tool, all right? This ends now, all right? No more! You need to leave, Jess! You need to get everyone out of here now! It sounds like he's completely unhinged. I mean it, Jess! It's all over now! Please, you're scaring me. Jess, what's going on? This all ends now! Go home! Get out! Oh get out! He just jumped out, but I think he's got a gun. Jess, get out of there. Get everybody out of there. Yes, ma'am. I say while we wait for Ed to call, we go to John's house. So, this is the room of Damon Tyler. Number 214. You need to... Where is he? I don't see John's car. Maybe he's not coming here. Hey, who's that? That's John in the front seat. With Damon and Ed Brock. Unbelievable, what is he doing? What is wrong with him? Kathy, I don't like this. We have to do something. I don't recognize this number. Hello? It's Ed. So, Ed, what are we doing? I trust you haven't talked to the police? I haven't. Do you have April? Yes, I'm keeping up my end of the bargain. Do you have the files and the tape? Yes. Good. You'll be going to John's house on Oak Lane. I trust you know the way. Give me 10 minutes. All right, come alone. If you want to see April, you'll do exactly as I say. He's lying. They don't have April. Maybe Erica Hearns brought her there already. I mean, she knows where John lives. Maybe. Well, anyway, Ed cannot see me pulling up with you. Okay, but we can't call Jansen until we know that April is safe. 
I'm taking your medical bag. I have a few ideas. This can be handy. A scalpel isn't going to hold up against a bullet. I'm not going to do anything stupid. I'll call you and let you know what I see. Be careful. So where is she? She'll be here. you got out of there. Are you okay? I was so worried about you. Why'd you have to take her? She's insurance. We need to get the documents and the recorder that her mom has. And then what? Then we leave all of this behind. I have a private plane that's gonna get us out of here. Hey, we're gonna have a fresh start. Get these off of her. Suddenly you care? She's right. This was never the plan. Nobody gets hurt! <laughs> She's here. Take her to the next room. And remember who you're working for, Damon. Why is she just sitting there? Yes? What are you doing, Kathy? How do you think this is going to go? Kathy, I need you to bring those files and the recordings into the house. Then we'll get you April and leave. Oh, okay, so you think I'm just gonna carry the only thing that's keeping my daughter alive in there and hand it over to you? Come on, Kathy. Have a little faith. You had my husband killed. The proof is on this tape. That tape is gonna go away very soon. I admit nothing. And what about Mike Gallagher? Bring me the tape and the briefcase, Kathy! Where's April? She's with Ed and you don't want to test his patience. Then let's do this. In front of the house where everyone can see. No guns, nice and civilized. Do you understand? I am quite civilized, Kathy. Let me discuss it with my partner. Let's make the exchange. She wants to do it in broad daylight. Thinks it's safer? Fine. I don't want to waste any more time. I'll take care of him later. You know I hate you, right? I can't blame you, but I swear I didn't know anyone was going to get hurt. I was supposed to spend time with a beautiful girl and then answer their question. When my aunt asks me to do work for her, I do it. She's the only family I got. She takes good care of me. All this time I was just some kind of job to you? No. Oh. At first, but... I mean... Look, I get that you hate me. But April... I really do care about you. What's going on? Shut up. Uh, it's time to get up. Get up! Ow! Ow! You're hurting me. Hey, you don't handle her like that. Oh my god! Don't overstep, kid. Please hurry. Michelle, I'm on my way. Just don't do anything. Only if I don't have to, Detective. Ah, here we go. 15 milligrams of propofol. This should do it. I'm gonna go to my car before we do the swap. You good? Go. I'll meet you at your place. Oh. And bring Damon. The girl's making him look like a fool. Whatever. Oh. Ah. Oh. Just rest. We'll come back to you in a bit. 
You still there? I'm here. Okay. I'm gonna make the trade. I'm getting out of the car right now. Come on, let's go. Ouch, you're hurting me. Get moving. I'm coming, you jerk. Stop pushing me. Go. Get out of here. Get back inside. I don't think so, Ed. Just let her go. I'm telling you, Damon, get back in the house. I'm gonna make sure that everyone does what they're supposed to do and April is safe. Oh, now you're worried about it. You better remember who you work for, kid. Your aunt knows a lot of power. She was right about you. You are acting stupid. Kathy. Let's hold up. I forgot the recorder. I just have to get it. One minute. Something's wrong. It's happening. All right, just give her a minute. No, something's wrong. Okay, then, let's do this. All right, all right. What's wrong? Keep it moving. I want Damon to bring April and take you the files. That wasn't the plan. I don't trust you. Come on, just do this one thing, then you can have your free ticket out of here. Okay, how about I shoot the two of you and just take the files myself? In broad daylight, in front of everybody? It's a big risk. Doesn't sound like the man who made my husband's murder look like a suicide. Damon, go get the files from him. <laughs> okay, we'll do it messy. Get down! Drop your weapon! Careful, detective. Put your gun down. I'm not going to ask you again. Don't shoot. Oh, my God. Kathy, April, you okay? You okay? <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Let I... me see the wound. You saved my life. The bullet just got you, okay? Just keep pressure on it. He's dead. He's gonna help you. Don't worry. It's okay. I just called an ambulance. Why did Erica shoot Ed? Because he was the key witness against her. Plus, she was protecting law enforcement. It's good for her case. Here's all the evidence you'll need to bury her. <laughs> Lucky kid. This kept you alive. Oh, man, it hurts. Looks like boyfriend just took a bullet for us. Unexpected. I'm sorry about all this. This isn't who I am. Yeah, well, there's still a price to pay. My husband is gone. But I am grateful you saved April's life. I've seen that entitled look before. You're gonna be caged for the rest of your life. I'm so sorry, Mom. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. What's gonna happen to Damon? That's for the police and the DA to decide. Ah, there you go. Thank you. Okay, I say they're pretty well done. Well, quite fitting the Fern Burger barbecue celebration. <laughs> David would have it no other way. Here's to David. To Dad. April, it looks delicious. Thank you. Mm. How is it? You gotta try a bite. I don't want to. I didn't know I had one bite. Okay, okay, okay. This is for you. You mm, like it? That is burned. <laughs> really? Okay, now give it back.